Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now today what I have here is, as you can tell, something very strange. This is actually a, um... I actually didn't quite know whether or not to put this into my science fiction builds or to put it in just general KSP. So I'll just do general KSP because it's kind of a bit of both, really. Um, this is called an umbrella ship. Uh, it was invented, or it was conceived, I guess, by a German, um scientist working with Von Braun. Uh, his name was like Ernest Dunlinger or something like that. I can't really, I don't know, I'm terrible with German. I'm also terrible with English, but anyways, um, this was an idea for a Mars ship to go to Mars, and it's doing its thing. And it was actually fairly ambitious, because at the time, um, you know, chemical rockets were dominant, and well, they, they still are these days. But this one, boop, 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 was a nuclear electric spaceship. So uh, the whole principle of operation was you'd have a ring up top, which was living quarters, and it would provide gravity, and people would live there, and it was all hunky-dory. And then you'd have, at the very bottom, you'd have a nuclear reactor that would generate heat. And this heat would um, basically heat up like silicone oil or something like that, which would then drive up the shaft and go into the power generator and generate power. And then it would go from there into this big umbrella where it would condense back into an oil and then uh, get shipped back down to the generator. And this would be used to power uh, an, an electric, basically, ion engine. Now, the original idea was basically you'd put uh, vaporized cesium through an electric grid and push ions out the back. And uh, pretty simple. Then you'd have a landing craft attached to the front. Um, the original idea was to have like seven of these with like. 30 people on board each going to Mars. It was pretty ambitious, but uh, the whole concept um, is fairly sound. You know, you have your engines doing a little bit of thrust, and you'd be basically spiraling out. It would take weeks. Just to, it would be. It would take weeks to get away from Earth, basically. Now, you know how um, I'm always talking about how the Van Allen radiation belts don't pose an issue. Well, they don't if you just you know use conventional rocketry. Um, with this spacecraft, they actually would, because you'd, you'd end up, be, you know, you'd end up spiraling through um, the belts for weeks and weeks and weeks, and that's unhealthy. Um, like the Apollo missions, they spent very, very little time in the, in, the, in the radiation belt, like I think minutes or like hours to minutes. It was very, very short, and they actually missed most of them, anyways. But in this case, you'd uh, you'd spend a lot of time chilling out in in the radiation belts, and that would not be good. But a benefit to this is that you'd be, you know, using very little fuel, and you'd get to Mars uh, in a few months, and then boom, you can have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not going to actually take this to Mars, because it's not, it's built for looks, not for functionality. Uh, I managed to balance it enough that it, it actually does operate, but um, it takes a very long time, and I don't have that kind of patience right now. But, um, Everything is, for the most part, functional, so I'll actually take it to Duna, and we can pretend, quote-unquote, that it actually got there. So, yeah. Right then, after a expansive spiral out from Earth, uh, transit to Mars, and then a spiral into Mars, or in this case, Duna, you'd arrive in orbit, and it'd be all lovely. Uh, you'd have some crew transfer over into the lander here, which I do. I have a pilot, right? I most certainly do. And now we can continue on our way, which is down to the surface. Boop. Um, what kind of power do I have on this? I don't remember if I put power generation on this. I think I forgot. No, no, I have solar panels. I'm good. Wouldn't be, wouldn't put it past me to forget, because I tend to do that. Alright then, so let's just move out of the way of the uh, actual mothership. Right, parachute. No, my staging is all backwards on this thing. I thought I fixed that, but apparently I didn't, so. Uh, at. That no, we're good. Alright. Can I start the engines? Nope. <sighs> right, let's try this again. With better staging this time. E. Uh, right, so now we're gonna depart our mothership. And 
actually try to head our way down to the surface. Now, um, well, I don't know, we'll see. Let's make some comments about um, the thickness of Mars' actual atmosphere as opposed to what Von Braun and the gang uh, theorized it was like. But that was more of an issue for the, uh, the winged aircraft that Von Braun had envisioned for his well, very uh, ambitious Mars mission that would require a crap load of stuff. But uh, we're going to see if this will work. Mm, no guarantees. If you're wondering if I've actually tested this before, I did, kind of. Uh, not really. But hey, that's all a part of the fun. Uh, anyways, now, I really, really like the umbrella ship concept myself. I don't know, I, I, I just, I have a soft spot for, I don't know. I guess you can say unconventional spacecraft. Like, you all know of my just absolute love for the flying saucer aesthetic of a, you know, of a starship. And, uh, all of that. So the umbrella ship kind of fits in nicely to that kind of, you know, whole thing. I love it. I just, I love it. How practical is it? Not terribly, but I still love it <laughs> nonetheless. Nonetheless. There we go. I haven't talked, or I haven't done a lot of well, of course, I haven't done YouTube videos last month because my computer was dead. So I need to get back into a habit of, like, not speaking poorly. Which is difficult because I speak very poorly. <laughs> or something along those lines, I don't know. Actually, I had, speaking of Mars, I had somebody on Twitter uh, talking about how they'd found evidence of cities on Mars. And I was like, yeah, alright, let's give it a shot. And, uh, you know, he had all these pictures from uh, Google Mars where he's like, I found, this is a a uh, city, and these are structures, and here's a, a statue that, that, that's, uh, that's fallen over, and here's a building with uh, pillars. And I look through it, and it's like, those are rocks, that's a rock, that's a mountain, those are rocks, and that's an erosion ditch. But, um, no, he was very, very adamant that what he had found was a Martian city, and he was like, unironically actually puzzled why nobody but him had seen, had seen this before. And it's like, alright, so I, I did the usual thing where it's like those are just rocks and stuff, and you have basically pareidolia of working against you here. But no, 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 no. no. According to him, they are real and they're actually there and um, all of that. So it's like, all right, um, submit like submit your findings for review, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. I doubt he will because uh, literally everybody will tell him the same thing I did. It's just pareidolia. You're just seeing rocks. But whatever. Uh, I'd rather people, you know, spend their time looking at Mars pictures and do it incorrectly than not at all, because Mars is nice. I'm more of a fan of, like, other places, but Mars is still nice. My drugs are not gonna let me... No. No, I think I've screwed this up. Yeah. Hmm. Those drugs just were not... I was going too fast. I need to, like, work on that slowing down. They may need to kiss the atmosphere at a lower angle. Alright, I used my RCS mostly to deorbit. So we should have more fuel for this, uh, actual descent. And we're also coming in way shallower. So, um... Hey, here's hoping. Um, you know, actually, I'll just kind of cut past this until we're actually in the atmosphere. Alright then. I also did some tinkering with the parachutes, so we'll see. Ooh. Actually, I have an idea. Um, I'm gonna do this. This isn't what this is wasn't in the original plan, but I'm gonna see if I can cut my losses and just really just drag this thing down. So we're gonna broadside it. You know why not? It's all about the air resistance. And Mars technically has air. Duna, thank you. I uh, was unaware. It's not breathable air, but it's air. Like, air doesn't necessarily mean... Maybe it does. I'll, I'll, I'll have to look at the definition of air and just, you know, does air only mean breathable air, or does it just mean gas enclosing a planet? Let's find out. Air. Air. Airline tickets. No thank you. 
Air is the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, screw you. Oh, let's slow this down. I think I... This is why I should just... Should really, should, I should really be paying attention, but... No matter. Uh, it worked. So... Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Anyways, back to reading this this thing. Air. Simple English. I'm terrible at English. Uh, clear gas, which living things can breathe. It has no color or smell. It has mass and weight because it is matter. Yes, air is in fact matter. Yeah, alright, so I guess air does technically mean um, breathable gases. That's unfortunate. Oh. You know what? I'm just going to cheat a little bit. Uh, so we'll just, just fix this. Don't hold it against me. At least, at least I'm honest here. On. You know, one second. Right. This is a incredibly top-heavy setup, but whatever. Um, yay, we've landed after a bit of cheating, but who cares? And so basically, people would then leave and do stuff. I guess I can at least EVA one person. And no ladders because ladders are extra weight that we don't need. E. There's Ike. Big smiles. Posterity. Image of the lander. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, right then, let's get back in. And see if we can do this without. Yeah, I guess a ladder or even just like a handle would have been useful for this. But oh well. Let's see if I can just get right up in there and grab. E. Board. Now then, we're going to skip ahead. We'll just do one day. We're going to come all this way and only spend a day on doing a surface. Um, I just burn off that excess fuel. Excellent. Actually, we'll do this. Now then, to take off, first of all, you dump the fins. And then, what direction are we going? Ike is over there. Which is wrong way. Alright, so we're going to be traveling away from Ike. And there we go. Boop. Wrong way. Away from Ike. There we go. And we leave our landing legs behind because we don't need the landing legs where we're going. Let me guess. Duna? Duna. Now this would normally have an actual cone on it, but I decided to do a little landing port just because everyone was very disappointed. Or something. So now I'm gonna... Well, actually, I don't need to skip ahead. Let's do this. Although I could just... You know what? I'll just time lapse. Right then. That was actually a fairly uneventful um, ascent. However, I kept this thing kept twisting and tur like topsy turbying, tumbling. There's the word. But uh, we're good to go now. And now I just kind of come right in and try to dock. Maybe. A. And now I just transfer people over. Transfer crew. Transfer crew. Transfer up here. Because transferring the crew is always necessary if you want to bring them back. I mean, I could just leave them here, but that, that, that'd be kind of cruel. Right then. I did get everybody right. I did. Alright. And now, I undock that. And just kind of let it bugger off on its, on its merry way.
see if I can get away from it using the main engines. See how fast we actually go with this. Not terribly. That's kind of an interesting shot. Huh. But yes, and then it would spiral its way out into the great unknown, back to Earth, or Kerbin. And, uh, one, two, three, boom. Mars mission complete. Uh, the whole idea was, well, it would be like, you know, seven ships out there, a whole bunch of people. Um, I think it was like 70 crew altogether. And they'd land, and they'd be on the surface for about two years, and they'd come back, and it was all rather ambitious and really cool, but again, there's some technical issues with it. But I overall love the ship design. I think it's just, it's, it's magnificent. Um, mine doesn't really do it justice, it's a KSP approximation. But go look it up, it's really cool, the umbrella ships. Uh, they, they, they're just so interesting. But, anyways, I hope you at least kind of enjoyed that. Nobody really watches these videos anymore, but whatever. Uh, I need to do Space Engine one of these days. So, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and space.